With me to discuss the video are co-producers, Lorenzo Rossi and Gabe Fabens. Welcome, you guys. Thanks for having us. So, Lorenzo, you've written a number of songs for Yellow Peril. Why did you choose this one for your music video? Well, actually, Gabe approached me originally with the, um, the idea to turn Stop Pretending into a video, and I think, uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but a lot of it had to do with the fact that it's probably one of the more mature songs we've written. We, mm -hmm. um, I was actually a little scared to take it on because it's kind of a complex um, concept, and I, I was originally, um, uh, I was trying to make a video for the song we do called Party Pants, mm -hmm. which is a, a little less uh, complex. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> the two of you are really credited with developing the concept of the video. Why did you choose this imagery to carry the meaning of the song? You know, I talked to Lorenzo about the lyrics and sort of what they meant, just to get a, a deeper sense of what he was trying to say with the song. The main goal of the video was to really reflect the meaning of the song, mm -hmm. and uh, we bounced a couple ideas off of each other. But we really, the, our purpose was to highlight the themes that were highlighted in the lyrics. Okay, cool. So I'm wondering, what is meant by the mannequin? That's a very good question. Um, so we all see mannequins as this sort of peak of physical uh, attractiveness. Um, beauty. It's what standard of right, what right. is beautiful and what is accepted as mm -hmm. attractive. And whether in our or not, society. you know, we believe that as well, we're constantly fed that image um, by the media exactly. and even just by storefronts that you walk past. Mm -hmm. So the video kind of pulled from that same uh, type of media bombardment and so the the girl and this mannequin have this relationship um, where the mannequin really is just a mannequin and he mm -hmm. is just a He's very beautiful, but he has no, nothing beyond that. Yeah, nothing inside. Um, Interesting. And so at the end, she's forced to choose between the opinions of the people that she surrounds herself with and mm -hmm. her own desires. The message behind the song was follow your heart and stop pretending. Good. So how did the rest of the band react to the concept? There are some who, uh, the members of the band were were a big fan of the way it turned out, and mm -hmm. uh, I think they were really happy with how deep we took the uh, the lyrics yeah. and the concept. Um, some were a, a little disappointed that we didn't highlight their uh, playing their bodies, mm -hmm. you know, oh, okay. as much or the wealth, yeah, the, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but I think overall it was a successful venture because mm -hmm. I, I think we're getting a lot more exposure as a band. So yeah, definitely. Well, next year I will be studying at Emerson College in Boston and uh, hopefully making more videos. Maybe there'll be music videos, maybe um, more experimental, but uh, definitely continuing to combine music and film together because those are my two main passions. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, next year I will be attending Western Washington University and oh, cool. I hope to continue uh, independently pursuing film and music as well. So, Well, I want to thank you both and all of our guests for joining us today for this special student-produced edition of School Beat TV. And thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed learning about the digital filmmaking program at Ballard High School. And I hope you enjoyed watching our films as much as we've enjoyed making them.